Hello everyone, uh, my name is Santiago Ruiz Navas. I teach statistics, business data analytics, and management of innovation in the College of International Management. If I were to speak with all the students, I will tell them you need to know at least how things work. You need at least to have a little bit of data literacy because at some point in your company, you will be involved in a project that is going to be connected with data. When that moment comes, you don't want to be the guy in the room that's smiling all the time without saying anything. Before big data, you were working with a, a store and let's say maybe you have 2,000 customers uh, that walked in front of your store every day. But then when you open your store online, then you have access to the population of the world that has access to internet. So that's millions of millions of people. So now your normal database from 2,000 persons becomes millions of millions of rows. And then you, you, you cannot handle that. All these amount of data that became available could be input into these other uh, algorithms and that made them even more powerful than before. There is a lot of tools, for example, even for copies uh, that you want to put in your, in your marketing campaigns, there are AI tools that generate that for you. So you start writing your general idea and they are going to generate copies. So you don't need now to hire an expensive uh, marketing agency uh, because you can create them by yourself. Even if you want to create digital art for marketing purposes or even for a book cover, Actually, the economists use AI to generate issue before. Uh, so things you can use AI to, to generate and make the work easier for you. I think a lot of us, uh, when we think of artificial intelligence, I think we are thinking of something that can take over the world or you know take over people's jobs. For most of the situations, I don't think that's how it will change in the next five to 10 years. Uh, what I think is that people who make use of artificial intelligence will get much farther ahead compared to those people who, are, who still do not use artificial intelligence in terms of what they are doing. I think Professor Santiago helps us out the most with introducing new AI breakthroughs. So we talk about these topics frequently and that's how we uh, keep our, ourselves updated with these technologies. For all the students uh, in business right now, it's a chance for them to write their own story and come up with ways how to use previous knowledge, theories and concepts and give a turnaround to create a new frameworks, new tools and adapt them to the new situation. <music>